This HPE Synergy Image Streamer technical video will present concepts for composing bare metal stateless servers. These concepts are applied in live demonstration videos also available in this series. This diagram shows the HPE Synergy Composer, also known as OneView, on top, the Image Streamer module below, and an HPE rack to the right. The Composer only shows the server profile since that is all that applies in this process. ImageStreamer has a solid state drive with two partitions as illustrated. The components shown and their relationships will be covered in this video. Item number one illustrates artifact bundles that are available from the HPE GitHub site for a variety of OS versions and applications. Artifact bundles include plan scripts that are stitched together to form item number two build plans. Number three shows a build plan is combined with a previously created OS golden image to define a deployment plan. Number four shows the golden image, when it was created, was combined with an OS volume to create a golden volume used for fast deployments. Now we'll take a look at the actual scripts and forms used for this process. Plan scripts are guest fish scripts, like this example that configures host names and IP addresses. Plan scripts are stitched together to form a build plan. In this example, the plan script is step number four in the build plan. The deployment plan requires three entries as shown with dark arrows. A name, the build plan to use, and the golden image to use. Plan attributes are created based on the plan scripts in the build plan. You can change these attributes or leave them as is. The last step to deploy a golden image is to create a server profile. Again, as shown with red arrows, only three entries are required, a name, the server hardware to use, and the deployment plan. Green arrows show attributes like host name, users, and passwords are filled in automatically with default values along with other attributes from the deployment plan. The image streamer iSCSI deployment networks are created automatically for your environment and storage can be configured in the server profile. To facilitate easily repeatable deployments of this OS configuration, a server profile template can be created and selected where the blue arrow indicates. It will automatically reference the deployment plan and includes any required customizations. Going back to our process diagram, number five shows when the server profile is created, a temporary smart clone thin replication of the golden volume is created. Then per number six, Plan script personalization is applied using the attributes defined in the server profile deployment plan. A temporary OS volume is created for your specified server that is moved to the deployed server volume storage area of the image streamer when personalization is complete. Number seven shows an iSCSI connection is added for the specified server. Your server is now ready to use. Note that the systems administrator had to create a golden image, download the artifact bundle, create a deployment plan, and create a server profile. Everything else is automatic. With future deployments, you only need to create a server profile, and personalization will create unique host names and IP addresses. In summary, our OS volumes composed in ImageStreamer contain all of the stateful information that was configured during the personalization process. Compute modules do the information processing, but they only have temporary files on their local drives, so they are stateless. Stateful data is stored on storage module drives or external storage assigned to the compute module. Compute modules can be assigned on demand for other required workloads, and different compute modules can be used for this workload when required. This completes the server composing concepts video.